Hello to everybody, this is Ultragrunt, and we are on XCOM for some more XCOM. And I said it last time, and I just realised I just said it again by accident. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> anyway guys, um, last time we captured our Finman on the bomb disposal mission, and we just slaughtered that entire mission pretty much with how good our guys are. And this time, we went to a UFO crash site. Today, we're going to hopefully capture that floater, and... Then we'll just see the end in sight after that. So, um, I'm actually going to keep myself on a team this time. Um, and I'm going to set up squad one ready to go. Uh, so we'll just take apart everybody else. They don't all need to be here. And um, we'll chuck in everyone from squad one. Make sure we take a good, good couple of arc throwers, and I think I'll try and give one of our Psy guys, um, like the Psy armor and the Psy, um, the Psy armor and um, the mind shield thing. Um, see if we can mind control an ethereal. Although I don't think we'd really need to, because I think I've already got that achievement. Didn't I already get out on um, um, the original playthrough I did on here? I'm just wondering if I did, because... What I, it was pretty funny what I did, because I had to like use a Psy Inspiration, and I had to use like a, sim, a stim pack and also a drug grenade, a drug smoke grenade. There was a lot of things I had to use just to get the, like, the will high enough just to do it. It's quite hilarious. I don't know, we'll see. We are missing some plasma rifles. I don't like it when plasma rifles start going missing. I know the game likes to do that sometimes though, just suddenly just hide some things from us. Uh, Medkit. Did I take all the equipment off the other people? I want to say I did, but the game didn't seem to think so. Uh, once we put everybody in the squad, I'll go and check. Oh, there's actually no point in giving Jordan the Psy armor and boosts and stuff, because by the time we do that, it'll probably only just match one of someone else, like, get to about 70 his aim, which isn't really worth it. So we'll just give uh, Jordan the scope, as usual. And uh, we'll get Finch in here. We could give Finch the Psy armor and the mind shield, because his uh, Psy is really, his will is really high, so look at that. Okay, it just looks just like a deaf soldier. Uh, and then David. That should be good. Now I'm just going to quickly go into the barracks and find out where all the rest of my goods have gone. Because I'm missing quite a lot of things. For some reason, Chug's got some of his stuff. Alex has got some of his stuff as well. Not really sure why. I accidentally came out with that screen for some reason. Uh, Keen's got some of the stuff. Must have been because they've all just been injured and just come back into duty. Oh, that's the thing. I forgot to play some Call of Duty last weekend. Oh, that's the thing. I forgot to play some Call on Duty last weekend. Because, um... There's a free weekend for Call of Duty Ghosts, 
and I was going to make a video called Carl on Duty and uh, just play it since it was free on PC over the weekend and I kind of forgot to. It didn't matter anyway, it was like a 30 gigabyte install and just to make one video that's not going to be worth it. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. Maybe next time. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. I was too busy doing other things. Like recording other videos and playing other games. But uh, that might be something I'll do in the future. Or maybe I'll just go on the Xbox version and make Carl on duty. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike One is authorized to assault the alien craft. Right. Got it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try not to overwatch in case we bump into the floater, because we don't want to accidentally kill it. We just want to make sure we kill all the um, other things. Come on, Caleb, you're better than that. You shouldn't be panicking at this stage. Heading there now. Exposing target. Kinda wanna mind control that berserker. up um, Jordan's attack a little bit. I just realised none of these guys have mind control anyway, so I don't know what I was going to do anyway. Well, we know um, there's a berserker still around here, so I'm going to actually put Sean on overwatch in case he wants to take a shot at it. Aye, aye, Commander. And I'll just leave the rest of the turn like it is. You can hear that floaty giggle in you already. Yes, there he is. Oh, there's both of them. So we weren't trying to get them close enough for us to do what we need to. Unfortunately, we've got this berserker still around here, and I kind of want to try and kill him, but... I don't know where he is, so... If I throw out a battle scanner, maybe I can find him. Because he's definitely around here somewhere. I don't think I revealed him. Nah, he's done a runner. Alright, for the sake of um, the floaters being kept alive, I'm going to make sure everybody's not overwatching. So that uh, little floating buddies can come closer. Yes. That makes things significantly easier. So I'm just going to do this. Your mind floater. What's making that noise? What's making that noise? Maybe it's Sean Connery. 
screaming Scotland forever. Here they come. Oh, there we go. We found the elite mutants. We weren't looking for him, but they decided to come and find us. If I can get a rocket over there, I'll do it, but at the same time, I don't want to take out um, my own cover doing that. Do some mind fraying on him. Your girl wishes to know. David should be able to snipe one of them, hopefully. Although he's got a very low chance of hitting him. But he still hits him anyway, because David's pretty awesome. Like that. He seems to do that a lot. He seems to really have a really low aim percentage. But then he, he seems to hit his targets a lot, so I don't know what it's about. Uh, Commander. I could have actually just stayed there with Finch. I didn't think about it. Roger that. Scanning. Got it. I feel, Commander. I'm not going to shoot a floater, because the floater is not really a threat. While uh, this mutant is more of a threat. Plus I did some extra damage to him. They're trying to pull back. Oh, there's a berserker. I don't know, think he knows what he's doing. Going over there for some reason. Let's put um, Jordan up here. I'm on a move. I couldn't do anything from where there, unfortunately. So let's us move Finch, who might potentially have something to do. Aye, aye. Mind free that floater. <laughs> Sean's just sort of hanging out back here still. But it won't be for long because we're going to dash him over there. Two percent chance of hitting. I should have used the uh, flank shot or whatever it's called, the um, flushing out shot, the toilet shot. Let's just call it a toilet shot. That works. On the move. Out you go. I'm out of firepower over here. Come on, David. Come get some. Affirmative. I'm on it. Right. Let's see if this uh, berserker comes towards us. Or if he runs away again. One damage. We're getting there, guys. We're slowly killing him. For the cause. Yes. Adjusting aim. Lots of missing. Out of ammo here. Ooh, Jordan can see him now. now. But he missed. But he failed. Let's just uh, shoot him with our good old sniper rifle. And then we'll let um, 
Jordan finish him with a mind free. Potentially. For some reason, Berserkers have a really high, like, tolerance against sight abilities for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but they just do. Uh, let's just shoot him with Sean. I'll move Sean next to him here, and I'll just shoot him. Ice Cream Man, in the rain. Of course. He always comes out on a Sunday in the rain for some reason. It's like, hey, it's raining. Let's go and get some ice cream to these children that want ice cream in the rain. In the middle of winter. You know. Because that's what everybody wants during the winter. I'll tell you what I do want. I want some fish and chips. Very stereotypical of me, but... I just sort of want some really good chips. I've not had some really good chips for a long time. We tend to um, avoid getting fish and chips during the winter because usually they just start getting in bad potatoes. But, um, I don't know. Sometimes it, it can be decent, so... Roger that. Scanning. We'll see. Maybe I'll get some tonight. Uh, right. What is, um... There's a front door. I don't really care about the front door. We're going through here. This uh, mission end quicker. Ten four. I'm so excited that we're getting very close now. Because now I've completed my Double objective. Shot. So all I've got left to do now, um, I'm going to do a suicide mission. And I'm going to do the final mission. And that's pretty much it for the rest of this playthrough. Got nothing else planned, I don't think. Let's do this. On my David up there. Um, I'll just get people set up so they can Orders open this door and blast their way through it. And okay. It'll be like the intro scene of Star Wars, Episode Four. Completely different of his intro scene to the Star Wars Episode One. Come on, Finch, get in there. I think that's everybody. Switch between all the characters really quickly. Ooh. So we know the. Um, Ethereal's in his usual place, in his room, because he's been grounded. There should be a heavy mute on in there with him now. So I'm going to try and uh, use Finch and um, and Jordan to mess about with him. On the next turn, of course. So I'll do that to help rank him up a little bit quicker. Affirmative. Now he's really going to cut through there just to get over there. Heading to that location. It's not worth it. We've definitely captured an ethereal. I spent about five missions in a row trying to capture one, so I'm pretty sure I've captured one now. Moving out. What's making that noise? <laughs> What's making that noise? 
It always makes me laugh when I hear the soldiers say that. Ethereal. They're on the move. Right, so first off. I'm actually going to shoot at the ethereal first. And then I'm going to use my mind fray. Because I think uh, using a mind fray just ends the turn straight away for Jordan. At least I think it does. I could be entirely wrong. I usually am. So then we're going to use Finch to have a go at Mr. Muton. A little bit of damage. Help get him upgraded. And then we're just going to run in there and just kill everything. As Duke Nukem would say, time to kill everyone. Flushing time. That mutant didn't make it very far. Quite unfortunate. To that location. It's too bad uh, the Ethereal doesn't use cover. Because we could do with flanking him. Kill him cover. I'm not sure what it determines that, but it's only he only occasionally does it. He doesn't do it every single time. Like his uh, little shot, which reflects. Decides to do. Get out of my head. It's not the move I thought it would do, but okay. We'll just end him anyway. Finish him off. Finish the job, James, if you can. Hoo 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 hoo. Whoops. Me rushing. Death by pistol, Mr. Ethereal. You should feel bad. Yeah, crumple up and die. It's funny because it said there was 11 enemies on board, we killed 8. So. Obviously, three died in the crash. That's the thing, we didn't see the heavy floaters. It said there was heavy floaters on board, but I guess they're what died in the crash? Or possibly one of the other mutants did, I don't know. It doesn't get much cleaner than that. Not a single casualty. Impressive work. Right. Mind control? It's funny because if we take all of our Psy ability um, soldiers onto the final mission, give them all Psy armor and um, like the mind thingies, the mind shields, um, we could just mind control every single enemy we see and just have like a massive army going into the last mission. And, like if we just use the turns in between um, them dying and killing them off and stuff to uh, recharge the abilities. We could just easily just slaughter everyone on board. I don't think I'll do that, but it might be funny to do. You know, I'm going to sell a bunch of corpses off because um, we don't really need a lot of these corpses at this point now. They're just sort of there. What I want to do is um, make sure I've got enough money to buy everyone. Tracking multiple unidentified targets. Like just to buy everyone Psy armor that needs it and um, mind shields and stuff. I'm still not entirely sure what I'm going to do with the final mission, but we'll see. I've, I might leave that down to you guys. See what you guys think I should do. 
like whether I should um, do the final mission with um, like the side soldiers the only or mission. use a certain squad or glad to have more help down here. who knows I haven't really decided yet three more pieces of Sai armor we're getting there Ooh, that's the thing I need to go and interrogate Mr. Floater now. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already Now one thing I want to do, just to see if the achievement pops up. I set myself to busy. And show notifications. Put the new recruits to work in the lab. Because this should be their final piece. Yes! We finally got it. And we got basic armor technology research credit. Of course. Look at that, we got an achievement through this playthrough. That's all that matters. We should have probably got in three or four by now, but Who knows? small scout. Can we use a small scout for uh, the suicide mission? I don't think we can. I think it has to be a medium. Enemy is padlocked. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, actually. I'll look it up between uh, this episode and the next episode. Find out for you guys, but... Yeah, that's the f that's it for now. Um, Thank you for watching this episode. Um, Next time will be the second to last video that I do. Um, I'll probably do some, like, um, alternative videos afterwards at some point. I won't do them straight away, but... I'll do one or two alternative videos afterwards, and I've also got a terror mission to put up, which it went and glitched out for ever and stopped working. And he's put up still, um, which is probably from about about 40 episodes ago. I still need to put it up though at some point. But uh, yeah, I'll do some alternative um, takes on videos as well because I've got every single save from this playthrough just about still on this hard drive and. Um, I'll uh, do a couple of alternative things like find out what would happen if um, this happened instead or if I went in with different armor. It's, you know, it'll become more apparent later. So, um, thank you for watching everybody and I'll see you again next time for the second to last episode of XCOM where we do a suicide mission. Unless that suicide mission doesn't count. Then we'll do another suicide mission. See you guys later.